Uh, he's, you know, by reputation, tough, difficult, and demanding guy, which is, I was ready for that. I was totally there. Stanley, by the way, saw this demo, the early demo, and sent back a telex immediately saying, this is going to revolutionize the way films are made. And oh, by the way, there's a place in the demo where you can see a shadow that gives away how it's done. And, you know, so we all went, oh my God, and went and ran and looked at the film. He was right. You could, you know, we had to cut out a shadow in the demo. So by the time I got there, he had actually half, half designed the movie for Studicam. And he needed it with a low lens height. So we invented on demand a so-called low mode where you flip the rig and you can get the lens heights down below the knee and up to your waist. And of course, for a lot of the stuff of the kid and you know traveling through those spaces, a lot of it ended up being low mode and in the maze and so on. But the thing that I liked best about it was uh, for Stanley, it was like a master class in movie technology every day. You know, his knowledge of lenses, his knowledge of the science of optics and movie making is, you know, unsurpassed, all self-taught. He had a camera assistant, Major Milson, who was, you know, a fabulous character in his own right and who was there for him, you know, conducting tests of his lenses and so on. He re rebuilt his projectors weekly so there would be no disregistration. We made harp tests, you know, antique tests of lenses that I read about in the Phillips Library that hadn't been done in you know 20 years. Harp test is testing the lens resolution every inch all the way back from you know 12 feet at every setting on the focus dial. And he shot frequently 50, 70 takes, 148 takes of one seven-minute scene. <coughs> And so I had the amazing opportunity to do these things over and over again. And like a dancer learning the stage on a show that you do every night in Broadway, I would learn to the finest hair of where my left foot should be now, where my right foot should be now. And look, if I get the lens an inch closer here, it's slightly better and so on. So I loved it because they would, we did a take. I had come up with a wireless transmitter for the video so he would play it back so we had a three minute playback and we would have a three minute argument about how it should have been done and so every nine minutes I did three minutes of work I could do it all day and the result was I got really good at it and I got the technique refined and I taught you know I learned a way of doing it that everybody in the world still uses now that we've taught everybody so for me it was the great gift of the master class all of a sudden in 1977, early on, close to the beginning of all that. I was, let's see, 77, I was, uh, I was 30 in 72, so whatever that is, I'd be, I started out at 35, 36 years old. Still very fast, still able to run. <laughs>